Friday, Frag Day. GameSpot's Bombs Away tournament continues. The competition has been hot and the body count high as wave after wave of contenders have been detonated, defenestrated, and otherwise demolished by the six finalists. Today, those six will enter the classic map, our Ring of Chaos. And only one will leave. Who will it be? Join Beelzebub, Pegleg Pete, Mr. Bomb, and Hula Girl as six players on a short fuse are burning to win five rounds. The arena is ready to be filled with fear, terror, and cute contestants ready for revenge. Today's match will have revenge cards enabled. That means a well-placed bomb on an unsuspecting contender could get an eliminated player back in the ring. Prepare yourself for the long bomb goodbye because it's bombs away! Hello everyone and welcome to Tournament TV. I am Ryan McDonald, your host, joined today by a whole bunch of people. As you can see, it's not your average Tournament TV. We got in the spirit of things, the Bomberman action. You, you guys look great. We also got, uh, I guess I should introduce you, Kevin Van Orden. Say hi hey there, there, folks. Hi there. And uh, we, we're joined for the first time by our good friend Don Francis. How you doing, Don? Thanks. It's great to be here. And uh, over on the other side is our good friend Jody Robinson. Jody Robinson, you are our, our hula girl for the tournament today, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So, hell's yeah, Bomberman. It's uh, taken us a little while, but we got it going. And uh, I'm excited to see what people are going to be doing. You guys have been watching the prelims all week long. What have you guys seen so far? Anything surprised? We've seen some great plays. Yeah. And there's, there's been a few who have dominated matches, and they've really proven themselves as the best of the best. However, there have been some others who have been really scrapping and fighting for their places, and they've done an excellent job, and it's been a great tournament thus far. Right on. So we got six people looking at we're looking at today uh, for the finals. Can you tell me how many people we've gone through to get here? Anybody? Ninety-six. Ninety-six, Jody. Ninety-six players. That's a lot of players. So, uh, so right on. So, okay. we, should we get ready? get ready to get in the action? Anything we should tell you about the people with the the setup in terms of the rules and uh, what we got going on? Well, it's the first day of the shortest month of the year, Ryan, and since <laughs> it's leap year, okay. that means we get one extra day. So I think we can go ahead and quickly abridge it and right move on. on. Right on. And uh, if I'm correct, your character is uh, known as James Bomb. Is that right? Bomb. Bomb. James Bomb. There you go. Yeah. And you're Pickling Pete. <laughs> yes, I am. And I'm, uh, was it Beelzebub Bomb? Yep. Yeah. Beelzebub Bomb. So, I don't know if you can see the, the red horns and the thing. It doesn't show up that great. But anyways, should we get on to our matches, sir? Sounds good to me. Jody? Yep, is everybody starting. ready to go? Arr. Yep. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get in the match good and take a look. Me. Now, uh, as we're getting in this, I, are, are we already going? Yeah. Oh, Looks wow. Like Let's it. go ahead and check out the action. These guys aren't fooling around. We have quite a number of players in here. We have uh, some witch hats in there. I believe we have Peachy Bear in the green with the bear paraphernalia. And then we have someone with a halo, but it's not to be confused with the Microsoft game. <laughs> you know, the action is getting hot and heavy. Somebody's already got... They've got a kick. kick it, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> then uh, they're staying away from the down bombs. we got some people in the revenge carts that are circling the area. So if they land a bomb strike while they're out, uh -huh. they can get back in. So. All right, so let's say, um, just for, for argument's sake, that, that I were a Bomberman newbie. Yes. And I'm looking at what's going on. This all looks very confusing. Yes. So, so, so explain to me how, how, this, uh, how this game is functioning and to, to all the audience that doesn't know. So you got all these little dudes running around, and uh, they are picking up these icons to do various things, which range from allowing you to set down more bombs uh, than one, uh, have your bomb fire explosion go further out than it should, uh, speed up, which makes your character run faster, all in an attempt so that you can run around and blow up your opponent, making it so you're the last person standing. If you're the last person standing, then uh, you win. I guess the only other tricky part to explain, I'll let you, Don, is, uh, is these guys rolling around on the outside here. What's that all about? Right, so those are revenge cards. Once you've been eliminated from the match, you can go around the outside until about 40 or 30 seconds are left in the match. And if you can score a hit with one of your bombs on someone who's left in the ring, you get to take their place. Awesome. Excellent. We got our first winner of our first match, D Streets 55. And of course, uh, to win this tournament today, you've got to win five, correct? That's correct. That is, uh, that is not always an easy task. Indeed. I mean, especially when the playing field is stocked with such great players like we have here today. You know, they've, they've each proven themselves in the field of battle thus far, and some of them have clearly dominated every match they've been in. And so we have some P-bombs going down. So those are noted by the bombs that have the P on them. Uh -huh. And those will stretch out the entire width of the screen. 
So they're especially dangerous, especially if they're dropped on the left side of the screen and you're on the right and you don't see it's going to go off. And then someone's dropping a uh, carpet bomb there, which has the skull on it and it's red, and that blows up in a giant square. Those are dangerous. Those are very dangerous because they blow through all the blocks and all the areas that they're within. Oh, a little angel girl goes down. Oh. I, uh, I actually participated in a Bomberman tournament some 16 years ago for the TurboGrafx-16. I won a trip when I was like 15 or 16 to Cancun, which I couldn't go on because apparently I was underage or something. And uh, as it turned out, I think Cancun was hit by a hurricane at that same time. And I think the chaperone that was supposedly going to go with us went and had to sit in the hotel room the whole time. Oh. But that is neither here nor there. And she got back into the match and took it. Crazy J spot. That is awesome. And it all happened, it all seemed to happen all at one time, too. Killer bomb there? Uh huh. Is that the. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we got one apiece for each of those. And that angel is actually a person named Gabe from Gabe? Chicago. So I, I think that's a man. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> And if you wonder why at the beginning of every round the white bomber man is uh, taking himself out with the bomb, that is our admin Jody Robinson who is uh, allowing us to see the action by her character that gets blown up every start of every round. She gets out of the way and lets these guys go to work. And she's discreetly tucked in that upper left hand corner. Not to impose her presence on anybody as they zip around up there. That's right, she doesn't want to be looming. Yeah, they, they actually kept telling me during the matches, I'm scared of the white bomber man, and they kept <laughs> saying it because I would move just to get up in that corner, and they just, it, it would just trigger them, to, oh, I gotta dodge that, you know, dodge that person. You know, it's funny, Jody, I've actually watched a lot of preliminary matches in the uh, tournament room as you guys have been doing them throughout the week. I don't know that I've ever seen you quite as excited as you were when you were watching this one. <laughs> like, you couldn't contain I, yourself. You're like, oh my god, oh my god! Yeah, I, I was a fan of Peaky, uh, Peachy Bear, so I like the way he drops the bombs and he'll idle there for a moment, even, lay, you know, standing over the bombs, so I'm just, like, worried for him, and yeah, Tempting fate. I'm a fan. So you think Peachy Bear is going to pull it off today? Uh, I want him to, but Ghostly Pirate's actually really good, too. Oh. Peachy Bear does not have a win just yet. Yeah, Peachy Bear got out, came back in, and has since been eliminated again. And he's looking to get back in in that revenge cart. And he's intent on getting that particular player. I think number two, whomever that is. Now the crazy thing is like, uh, you know, for somebody like you were saying, Kevin, who might not have ever seen this game before, it, it, it might not be, it might be actually kind of hard to appreciate all that's happening on the screen right now. These guys are, are juking and diving like literally with a split second of it's a chance. Chaos. Yeah, totally. You just gotta get through there. It is threading the needle constantly as you play this game. Oh. Uh oh. Man, he gets out of there. He's I got the speed up, yeah. huh? He's dropping them in quick sequence. <laughs> oh, man. And it seems like the. Who is that we got up toward the top of the screen? Uh, the, in the witch hat? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is right now. It looks like they're smart and trying to stay away from those guys in the revenge carts. Oh, that's that's the name of the game right now. Okay, now we're going to sudden death, and the blocks are going to start oh, dropping. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. The arena gets a little smaller. The yep. revenge carts come out. It's mano mano. This is when it gets really exciting. Oh, yeah. Particularly with that power bomb in there. The F, yeah. This oh, is yeah. The dangerous this is bomb. Yeah, the danger bomb. Oh, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's the lucky one? Oh, oh, oh nice. Oh, Apocalypse X. X. So we got three different people, each with a score. So uh, spreading around a little bit. I don't think we're going to see no instant win here. Yeah, well, that's always always makes for a good match. Oh yeah, and it's uh, five wins five to wins. win the tournament. Exactly. Excellent. And we have had some of these matches come all the way up, where multiple individuals were poised for that final win, and it was it was definitely a heated contest that right. last round. So we could end up seeing the same thing today. I look forward to it. And that was a... Uh... Oh, Peachy Bear just gets hit there. Got trapped by various bombs, including his own, I think. So it looks like pattern recognition is really important here, too, because yes. the, when the bombs go off, they're doing that in a, in a cross shape. Oh, yeah. Except that power, that... Dangerous bomb. Uh, square yeah, shape? Called. Yeah, yes. does that? All right. Exactly. And as they pick up power-ups to lengthen their, their fire length, uh -huh that actually makes that dangerous bomb explode even in an bigger. even bigger square. Oh, wow. And there's uh, one icon that no one seems to be going after, which is the power down. Yes, that yeah. makes your flame shorter. Yeah. And I don't I think anyone that. wants their flame shorter. Another thing, another thing I like about the, 
the thing that you can do is you can throw it across the other side of the arena to get to the other side. When you go from one side of the wall to the other? Yeah. All crazy Pac-Man style? Exactly. So Apocalypse X, moving across through the middle there. Oh, there you nice. go. Nice. Go see Pirate dancing with him a little bit. Hmm. Well, at this point, I'd see my character represented in this final match. And who's your character? Ah, uh, Beelzebub, Beelzebub, right? right yeah. Well, that's the whole thing, Ryan. You, you chose someone from the expansion pack. And <laughs> I guess it's not terribly popular right now with these contestants. I know. They've been too focused on playing their tournament to download it. But that's not to say it's bad. No, man, they are digging in this time. No one wants sure. to get out. No oh. way. I guess the other thing we should mention is that when you do see a bunch of icons pop on the screen, that's when somebody goes down and all the icons they collect at that point re are redistributed on the map so that the other characters can grab them. That's right. And you can see the, uh, I mean, it, it really comes down to, yeah, you can place them, you can drop them and try to get somebody trapped and do all that stuff, but uh, you see one of the most effective tools being the kicking and the punching and the throwing is bombs as people uh, get those icons and do it. So now we're down to Peachy Bear, Ghosty Pirate. And our good friend, uh, Apocalypse X. Yes, sir. If he can manage to win this uh, this round, he's uh, the only player with two rounds won. So Peachy Bear is sporting the bear ears through what looks to be a football helmet. Yeah. So he seems to be an intense competitor so, on the gridiron and at anthropomorphic oh. conventions. Goes to Pirate Queen pull out. Oh, okay, oh this is nerve wracking. Oh, there's yeah. nowhere to go. Oh, oh it's done. All right. Peachy Bear takes it by staying in the set. Wow. Center. Wow. That is the closest I've ever seen to get full with somebody still in there. Yeah. It's awesome. That was a good match. That was a good match. Still no dominating person in there. Still no dominating Anyways person. Anyways, match. It's a four way tie for first right now. What do our uh, contestants win today, sir? They get to win big money and big prizes. I like that. Yes. So we're looking at the second place competitors, huh? which would end up being five competitors in this instance. They would walk away with a $50 Best Buy gift certificate, whereas the single first place winner will walk away with $250 Best Buy certificate. Oh, wow. But no trip to Cancun. No trip to Cancun. Okay. We didn't want to threaten these people with hurricanes or other bodily <laughs> harm. Yeah, but we do have something for the folks watching at home, is that correct? We sure do. Yeah. We sure do. At the end of the show, we're going to be giving away five Omega 5 download nice. codes on the Xbox Live. So that's great. And then also for the viewers at home, we will also have a trivia contest for five Bomberman Live codes that they can download. Oh, excellent. Everybody wins. And everybody's still into this round. Oh, yeah. Nobody's out yet. Yeah, and I suppose we could always give away my sweaty eye patch. <laughs> if anybody is interested in that, make sure to answer those trivia questions. I think they'd have to fight Bethany for that, though. Oh, that's a good point. I am wearing, officially, this is Bethany's eye patch. Or her slime's eye patch, if yes. I want to be specific. Her big blue slime. And for anybody that's nearby, they can come and help me get all this makeup out of my beard that I'm sure it's going to take for a to get out. Sometimes you just have to make sacrifices for fashion, Ryan. That is true. Mm -hmm. I think I might wear the red stuff on my eye, eyes all the time. It's awesome. Yeah. Wow, this is one of the most conservative games I've seen in a yeah, while. Yeah, these guys are... I haven't seen them last this long. Yeah, they're definitely the playing defensively. There's some mad respect going on. Yeah, lots of kicking. Trying to keep everyone at kicks length. And they're just like, no, no, stay away. I mean, it's not a bad strategy. You kind of let, you know, the pack thin itself out. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to do all the work yourself. Just kind of keep away and let them. So I see the pink player over there dropping the bomb and then actually kicking it off to the side, off right. the screen. Uh -huh. what, uh, what kind of benefit would something like that bring? Can you actually kick it to the other side? Yeah. OK. Yeah, that's a power up, Kevin. It's called the kick power up. You pick yeah, it up and thing, all you have to do is walk up and touch it. They're mentioning on the a headset that they need somebody to die so they can pick up items. Yeah. <laughs> there, there goes you go. somebody. There's somebody. They got their oh, wish. and we've already got uh, got trouble ahead. Yeah, that dangerous bomb is getting a lot more dangerous. Five players oh, yeah. in the middle. Oh. Ouch. Trouble. Oh, yeah, this is starting to get tight. Yep. Hectic. This is insane. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here comes the carnage now. Ouch. Oh, ouch. Still three ouch. in there. 
And then there were three. Oh, it's a there's kicking contest gonna, now. There's only going to be enough room for one. Peachy oh. Oh. oh, who's in the middle? Oh. It's Apocalypse X. They all. Everybody loses. That's oh. a draw. Oh. That was rad. We all lose. Is that the first draw we've seen in the in the tournament? I, I, no. I, that, no. That is the first one I saw where it filled like the whole before. screen up with the blocks. And then, yeah, that's awesome. That's the first draw we've seen in this particular go in the finals. Excellent. But throughout the tournament, we've seen a lot of draws. Very closely competitive players here. Everybody is very... They're, they're, all these guys are really good about not picking up something they don't want, like a power down or a mm -hmm. speed down or... And if you're able to kick bombs, you can kick other people's bombs as well, correct? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. This is, this is for the newbies out there, including <laughs> myself. <laughs> The neat thing is when you got you know two competitors that both have the kick bomb, so one kicks it off and the other one's like, oh yeah, and he kicks it back at him. Mm -hmm. Oh nice. That is a lot of power ups. That was great strategy. He put down the, the P bomb uh -huh. to go the length of the screen, and then he dropped a bunch of bombs in succession oh. that then blew sideways to get a competitor who was hiding. Pretty good tactics. So do we have any stipulations on this, or are there any power ups that uh, players can't be using? Uh, none that are currently active. We've been sure to strip out anything that we thought might be unfair or garnered Excellent. unnecessary negative feedback. You know, we really wanted it to come down to the testing the skills of each player. And I think that's exactly what we're doing. Oh, oh wow. wow. And the size of that dangerous bomb. That's Apocalypse X right Finally, there. Finally, oh, somebody yep. takes a real lead. There you go. Two. Uh-oh, they said they're going to gang up on Apocalypse. They're going to gang up on Apocalypse. <laughs> That's a sound strategy. It is. But you just have to watch for the uh, dagger in the back after he's gone. I know, I know, uh, in preparation for the tournament, well, not really, I was just hella playing Bomberman at home. And uh, I was playing it, and it was awesome because, just like you said, it was like, I forgot, like, I hadn't been online for a while with it, and it was, like, amazing because that was exactly the way it was every match. There'd be one guy that would get one head, one 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 score ahead of everybody else, and then everybody would just, just destroy him the next round. Yes. Yeah, there's there's a lot of polite play, but it seems to have its fair share of the underhanded moves and the trickery. Yes, you know what they're doing? They're there's two guys ganging up on him. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking to each other to to take him out. Well, I'm going to give props where it's due. I want to make sure that they get their real names shout out, shouted out there sure. as well. So that uh, Apocalypse X, our current leader, is, I'm sure I'm going to get this wrong, is Joe Jacobo, um, spelled J-O with no E. That's, that's, that's worth pointing out. That so dude's it could hard. Be, yeah. He's so hard, doesn't need E. I'll tell you what. <laughs> or it could be short for something like Joanna. Oh? you gotta, you got to make, oh. you got to consider something like that because uh, we don't have any other information on Joe. So I just want to put that Possibly out. Josie? That could be Josie. Could be Josie. And the other the other pussycats, D Street 55, is uh, Daniel Yancey Jr. in Franklinville, New Jersey. Crazy J Spot is Gabe Orta in Chicago. Um, Eric Chang is Peachy Bear in Columbus, Ohio. Girk 2DX is Stephen Gerking in Lemoore, California. And Ghostly Pirate is Barrington Brown in nice. Columbus, Ohio. And I'm thinking that if I have children, I will name one of them Barrington. Well, then I will take that and say, if Joe Jacobo is actually Josie, mm -hmm. I will name that with my next child. Joe. That's some, just J-O. No, no, no. Like, if it's Josie, it's Josie. Oh, OK. Yeah. That's some heavy okay. talk. That's yeah. some heavy talk. Tell you what, that's, uh... But Joe has to win, and Joe has to be a Josie. Otherwise, all bets are off. All right. You ask for too much, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Apocalypse X is currently leading. And, and he's still X left still in this map, in this uh, round, too. Oh, he almost Whoa. didn't make it out of that one. That's true. Put the mine down. Oh, it's easy. Ah. Oh. Smart. Indeed. Ah. Bam! That's some uh, great defensive play, though, by uh, is that crazy J spot there. Yes, yep. indeed. Apocalypse X is so smart. That's some good stuff, but I gotta yeah. tell you, Crazy's uh, trying to doing control well. that center square, which is actually life. Yep. Oh, oh. Oh, Looks oh like they're both gonna get out. Oh! oh! Another draw. Intense. Business. 
It's the business <laughs> end of a bomb. Hey, uh, we're going to be talking to the winner at some point, correct? That's correct. Get him on the phone afterwards, yeah? Yep. I don't know. Wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. And if it's apocalyptic facts, we can uh, clarify some things and yeah, see where, uh, where Don's uh, family tree is going to be headed. And also, if you're going to be naming any of your offspring a particular name. <laughs> is oh. it? Well, yes. <laughs> naming kids I, on I didn't TV. bet anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, the Barrington is a pretty cool name. It is a pretty cool name. Sounds rather sophisticated. It too. is sophisticated. I wonder what kind of nickname you would get with the name Barrington. Well, especially with his last name, it's got to be Bear, because his last name's Brown, right? Bear Brown? Bear Brown, Brown Bear? I don't know. Nice. I don't know. Just a guess. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, that's probably true. Barry, yeah. Pitchy Bear, D Streets, everybody's still in there. Again, playing a little. Oh, oh that was a good kick. And that power down is a speed down that they've been uh, leaving up there, leaving behind. Yeah, the Boom roller skates. Yeah. yeah. There's also a bomb down, which will decrease your bomb capacity. The one up there at the top left. Exactly. Yeah. Good catch, Kevin. Hey, I'm learning fast. <laughs> Got it. You're the man. Uh oh. Nope, there's, uh -oh. oh, there we go. Look at that. Hey, oh. nice. Nice. So that's uh, that makes it. We got two leaders, Apocalypse X, and now Crazy J Spot. And I'm just saying, this is pretty. Uh, this is pretty tough. This game. This oh, is yeah. not. Uh, oh yeah. Something that you can just pick up and go and expect to uh, to win matches. I think. No, you definitely got to be on the business. And yeah, not to bring achievements into the discussion, but I'm going uh -huh. to. A lot of them in this game are really built around having strong online play. Like you have to win tournaments, 10 in a row I believe is one of them, which is a big feat. That's, That's a lot. A yeah. tough achievement. Have you unlocked that achievement, Don? I have. Really? I have That's, all 200 points in this game. That's really scary because I've seen your list. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a lot of achievements. What's your score up to now? Uh, it clears 55,000 right yeah. now. Are you serious? I'm serious. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's Don. And your, uh, your completion, your achievement completion percentage is up to... 87%. Yeah. Wow. So. This, serious? Is a, this is a, serious. a game player over here. Yeah. Wow. One, you guys, one of the achievements is to have all girls in your match. That's For real? True. Yep. And, and yet somehow Don managed to unlock that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have to do something for that, or it just uh, happened? You have to dress up as a girl for your avatar. Oh, in real life. Everybody. Oh, no, no. oh. <laughs> Because I'd pay to see that. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people would. <laughs> but unfortunately, it was a one-time thing. You dress up as a, a female character in the game, and then you all get together in one match, and you play the match. Another one is to kill somebody who is, oh, I'm sorry, to frag somebody who is dressed up as a cowboy when you yourself are also dressed up in full cowboy regalia. Those are some insane achievements, can I just say. But they're really fun. Because you get online and you say, hey, who wants to make a cowboy match? And then you do it. You have people, yeah, I'll back out, let me change clothes, and you get back in. And <laughs> Excellent. Then everybody's gunning for that one cowboy or another. So Apocalypse X, still in the running here. Yeah. Obviously Gerk. an X. Oh, oh my! Oh, Gurk walks away. First, Way to, first win for him. Yeah. It's really. Just it's as real. I was about to compliment Apocalypse X, too. It's, it's anybody's game still. Oh, yeah. We've been playing for uh, almost a half hour, and anyone can still take it. I need some Xanax. <laughs> this, is, this is way too stressful for me. This is pretty intense. <laughs> I'll admit, though, I want to grab a controller and play. It's like I, I noticed, you know, it's like, Jody, you don't have to kill yourself right away at the beginning of the round, right? We can get in there a little bit. <laughs> this is some really satisfying stuff. And, and, sure. and like I've said to the other guys, I'm, I'm, you know, a Bomberman newbie. For whatever reason, this series has just always uh, passed me by. So I wanted to, to check this out and see what's going on out here. Uh, I'm glad you came by, and I'm glad you uh, brought the... the Peg Lake Pete set up, sir. Yeah, well, that's really the only reason I'm on the broadcast, is I'm the only person who would uh, agree to, to dress up as a pirate. Pirate, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're still our favorite. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, <laughs> Doug, oh I see that coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> sorry, Sean put me up to that one. <laughs> Sean McKinnis, I will kill you. So it looks like the uh, there's only one person out right now. 
And then his Peachy Bear, Jody's favorite. I, I have to admit, I am partial to the Black Bomberman. Indeed. It's simplistic and, oh, yeah. and formal, but yet casual at the same time. Like, really, it's appropriate anywhere. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Oh, uh, it's warm. You really yeah. are quite the fashion maven, aren't you? <laughs> I try. But sometimes my wife dresses me and in the morning. You guys, as you noticed, uh, Ghostly just uh, destroyed, he burned the dangerous bomb so nobody can get it. Oh. Ooh. Apocalypse X almost gets the frag to get back in. We've already seen somebody went around that uh, had already been eliminated. Yeah. So, anything's possible. Right now, it's D Street's looking for his second win. Uh oh. Oh my. Oh. oh. That stun almost put him out. Yeah. It seems like these guys down here are definitely. Oh, they're out. Sudden death, this is the best part. Coming down to it, goes to Power D Streets. Somebody's gonna get either their first win or somebody's gonna get their second. So you'll notice some of those bombs have spikes on them. Mm -hmm. Those are pass through bombs, so in the event that there were destructible squares left, that fire would pass through them and go the full length of the blast. Oh, really now? Yeah, so those are very tactical bombs to get early on, but when you get this late in the match, obviously they don't do much Yeah, it doesn't them. matter now. Oh, yeah. This is. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, nice. Oh. D Street 55 picking up the second win. Now we have a three way tie for first place. That's right. Ghostly still needing a win. Is he the only player left without a win? He is. That's actually. true. Mm -hmm. A, that's, a, that's a lonely spot to be in, I know. That, and that's Barrington Brown. Oh, but at least oh. he can boast that he has the most awesome name true. on today's broadcast. Very true. And our uh, good friend Green there just picked up a power down without meaning to, I think. I think that's Peachy. Yeah. Yeah, and Joe seems to be running around a little bit slower. It was at the... Uh, the speed down, power down he picked up. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering. I wasn't paying any attention until oh. after the fact. It's kind of hard to keep your eyes on all the action that's happening out there. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Peachy was camping that bomb a little too long. And oh. Bomb. I mean, somebody had all kinds of stuff. Oh, we're back. Number three. There we go. Oh. Ghostly part. No. Fragged by the mine. <clears throat> Guess you could say he didn't see it coming. Mm. That is a lot of explosions. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There's uh -oh. no way out of there. Wow. And DC yet man, there is. Second win in a row. Just putting a big three up there. I'll tell you what. We now have a, an actual leader. leader. Yes, sir. Two wins away from taking the whole thing. Jody, did you say it was Peachy that during their earlier matches would camp on his bombs a while and then walk away at the last yeah, second? Yeah, him and Ghostly Pirate, but Peachy did it the most, which I would always worry because he never got, I mean, it was rare when he got killed from it. Oh, oh, nowhere to go. Yeah, he got trapped in a dead end there. That's gonna be like the longest one second, <laughs> knowing it's coming and you can do nothing but wait. It's true. <laughs> Now the one that the, the one bomb we keep on hearing is uh, it's a proximity bomb, correct, sir? The, uh, the mine. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can bury it in the ground, and then when you walk over it, it triggers it. And one of the tactics they usually like to do is to plant it and then yeah. walk over it themselves to trigger it. And then when you leave a trail of bombs, you get a cascade explosion that follows you, which is frequently what takes out people that you're fighting against. Oh, oh no. Got himself. Oh no. It's down to Peachy and it's down to Apocalypse. Oh. 
the the matches usually become uh, the revenge players against the players on the on the board. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Pocket Pocket attacks. Attacks. Yeah. Getting like, the big three as well. Yeah, it looks like everyone wanted Peachy out. <laughs> If you're just joining our tournament TV broadcast, we are well on our way into our Bombs Away Bomberman Live tournament. Uh, we've got six competitors going at each other, a free-for-all match, trying to bomb each other, get them out of here, and uh, take home the grand prize. We do have some prizes for second place, as well as you viewers in just a little while. Yeah, I can think of a lot of things that I'd like to buy at Best Buy with $250. Oh yeah. So whoever walks away with that, they better start thinking about that as soon as the match is over. I'm thinking about it right now. It's not even no. my two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> oh. oh. That was quite the in and out move by our Bomberman Angel there. That was quite a, a string of mines there too. That was like a pocket of X going down. Oh, oh, oh my! Wow. And Gurk. Gurk picks up on second win. Yeah. I'm worried about Ghostly Pirate. Yeah? I, I feel like somewhere Joe deserves a win. He was he Ghostly Pirate was very dominant in other matches. Really? Well he seems to be a big fan of Munich there, because he's got his FC Bayern Munchen oh, yeah? emblem there, which I believe is a football or soccer team based in Munich, Germany. Which is it, Don? Football or soccer? <laughs> well, it depends on who you're asking. I'm gonna call it soccer. That dude is blowing up all kinds of business. So we've got a three-way tie on line to you. It's actually a two-way tie for first place. Mm -hmm. And then a two-way tie for second. And then a single spot for third. And there we That is one of my favorite power-ups that you get when you can lay all those bombs down at once, the line bomb. Mm-hmm. It's like you just double tap the button and they all just Whoa. Definitely. Like that. that. Yep. It's one thing I always enjoyed in Party Edition on the oh PlayStation. Because you have the much maligned mount that you could get onto. Uh -huh. But then you also have power-ups like that line bomb. So you get your mount, you get your line bombs, and then if you get the right one, you can turn your back and the explosion doesn't affect you. Oh, well. So that was, those were some serious competitions. <laughs> Truly fit for a party. I think Barman has been on, like, I mean, it's been on the Trouble Graphics, been on the Saturn, mm -hmm. uh, Super Nintendo, GameCube, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 2, if I remember correctly, as well. Xbox 360 now. So yes. DS, uh... DS just came out. Exactly. All kinds of bombers. Plays or PSP? Just really? saw a release. Yes, there yep. is a PSP release. Is it total old school bomber? It, I haven't played it yet, but I know we're uh, have a review copy in the office somewhere. Oh, wow. I was just looking at the wiki page today for Bomberman and it had a whole list of yeah. all these platforms. Oh, yeah. I mean the list just went on and on. D nice. Street 55. Well he is one win away from taking the whole thing. Yes, indeed. One win away. So Daniel Yancey Jr. Dig deep. Exactly. No, oh, it's there. And his, it's worth pointing out that he's never played a Bomberman game before Bomberman Live, wow. according to his bio. And this is his first video game tournament. Wow. I don't, so, uh, I don't want to call it go. beginner's luck, but it's definitely a feat of skill. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. <clears throat> it's a true underdog story here. Now, on the other hand, Ghostly Pirate, um, the only dude here without without a point, um, has uh, has been playing Bomberman for a really long time. Really? How long? How long has really been? Well, let me take a look. He's played every Bomberman since Super Bomberman One. Oh. And he thinks that the best Bomberman of all is Bomberman Online on the PC. Really? Mm -hmm. And it was released in 2001 on Japanese, Korean, and Taiwanese servers. Mm. Not to be confused with Atomic Bomberman, I guess, which was also a PC release. 
and uh, regarded by some PC aficionados as the best Bomberman ever. What also had teams mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and extra modes like co-op boss battle. So. Barry definitely has uh, some background there. Let's hope uh, we, we see some of that uh, shine through soon. You better uh, kick it in the gear. One more win for our good friend D Street 55, and he is uh, taking this whole thing. Well, he says his strength in the game is to be confident and have fun, and it looks like his confidence is paying off thus far. Oh, yeah. This is D Street you're talking about? Yes, sir. At least that's what it told me. Really? Excellent. An another thing to note about our match format is uh -huh. most of the tournaments do not have Revenge Super on, so a lot of players have said that's the reason why they haven't won <laughs> uh, for the semifinals. You know, when we were putting the tournament together, it just didn't feel right not to have Super Revenge carts. Oh, yeah. Because once you're eliminated, all you do is you sit in a room knowing that you're gone. Yeah. And it adds an extra layer of, of playability. And that's really what we were looking for, was to have these people come together to compete, but also to have fun. Oh, yeah. I think... What are you uh, talking about, Don? Having fun is overrated. <laughs> Jeez. I'm certainly having fun as we watch these guys scrap out. Man, there's yeah, four this is tense here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this could really be it. Yeah, D Street to become the Ghostly oh, Pirate's oh, still there, too, because mind. you just never know. Uh oh. Get down to. Oh, oh Peachy. Oh, oh Peachy. Oh, there's a bomb behind you. Oh, he likes to camp oh, those unbelievable. bombs. They're getting that center square. Oh, oh. no. Oh, done. <laughs> Draw. Draw. All that. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's some really awesome stuff there. Yet another draw. Unresolved as of yet. You know, this reminds me of a game of Worms I once played. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> no elaboration <laughs> necessary, huh? For those of you who've watched Button Mashing over the years, you probably know about that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, now it that. all becomes clear. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's super awesome. Me being one of the uh, the few editors to almost get close to losing in that particular round, thanks to uh, my off-the-cuff choice of, of, of game. What was it you chose? It was, uh, it was Motorstorm, Motostorm. 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 Yes. Yes. You're really getting that dangerous bomb to be dangerous. Oh, yeah. Some more power-ups, and that thing could go halfway across the screen. You know, it'd be crazy if, like, when you kick the uh, the carpet bomb, if that thing, like, it's like it was a moving cloud of explosion that actually swept through it as you know, just for a second, you know, a moving explosion. Oh, yeah. When it carried oh. its momentum yeah. through the explosion, yeah. I so we, I saw one player actually walking through the power down. Is that oh, actually yeah. a power up that you can earn to be able to walk, walk through, through those? That you know, I noticed that as well, and I'm kind of curious about that <laughs> because that is Apocalypse X. I hadn't seen anyone else suffer from that benefit. I uh -oh. that term. Come on, Ghostly Pirate. Yeah, I was going to say, Ghostly Pirate looks uh, a little dazed a few times there. Still looking for a win. This could be Joe's chance. A minute and 12 left. Yeah. Get closer to the uh, blocks rolling in at 40. Seems to me like they're keeping their distance, but not looking like they're keeping their distance. That was because that, was fi that fire is reaching out this far. Yeah, it sure now, is. Now, Apocalypse... Oh, pardon me. I can't say that. That's really hard to say. Apocalypse actually. X? Apocalypse X. That's really hard to say. If he actually wins this round, then he will then have uh, scored four points, and he will have two. Oh, indeed. Wow. And there you go. Wow. We got two guys looking for one more win and able to take this... $250 Best Buy gift card home today. So Jody, is this a surprise, these uh, these guys who are leading the tournament? Yes, I thought it would be Ghostly Pirate and uh, Peachy Bear. Oh, way to... I know that D, uh, D, DS Street was really good too. I 
now everybody on pins and needles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm totally just like sorry, watching wall, in silence. Absolutely. I'm just like, oh, who's gonna do it? Yeah, one of the interesting things to note that Crazy J Spot has actually played in a variety of different games and also leagues. And I'm looking at his bio, and he's got many. An Al, DCL, suit here. Oh, really? and game yeah. battles. This guy a professional gamer? Yeah, could be. He was in our. Uh, he's, he says he's looking forward to our hint hint Call of Duty Four tournament. I'm looking so forward to that as well. When, when do we get to see that? Joey, that's a hint. <laughs> well, if you're holding your breath, you might have to hold it a little longer. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> We've been doing some talks about it, but nothing's finalized. Yeah. Can we just have like a, a game spot at area one? I mean, I mean, you guys are still doing game night, right? Yeah, we're doing sure. game night. All right, let's we've, do it. We've done Call of Duty 4 already, and was, we're happy to do it again. All right. Keep your eyes open, too, because uh, for next game night, next Tuesday, we're looking to do uh, Burnout Paradise. Oh, oh shoot. awesome. Nice. So for, for those Kill of you the that... Admin. Uh, oh, you were, you're the in admin. there. Thanks. <sighs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So out. that means someone got back in thanks to the admin. <laughs> Somebody was smart. It yeah. always works out. <laughs> That's all right. I, I don't think it's going to matter. Well, <laughs> we all still love you, Jody. If it ends up being our uh, good friend Street there, it might make a difference. Yeah. Did anybody see? Did anybody see? We'd have to rewind it. We'll have to rewind it. Let's see a replay. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the NFL. Uh, we oh, did our oh, replays. Oh. 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 I think some <laughs> lag we saw there that the... Uh... Oh man, they are doing everything they can to get these streets 55 out of there. Yeah, for good reason. Oh yeah. If he wins it, he wins it. And look at how smart. They're, they're just letting that other guy just run around, just like, yep. trying to keep him alive. Well, Ghostly is in no danger of winning. He looks like he better watch out. Oh! Oh! Uh -oh. Now we're in trouble. This, this means trouble. Let's see if Ghostly can bring out his uh, incredible Bomberman experience. Uh, dude, he hasn't won a match yet. I you know. know. Oh! oh! But he's experienced, dude. That's gonna yes. cost my life. Oh! That is oh! Oh! Ghostly is on the board. Let That's, me buy my uh, tongue. That's amazing. They're all congratulating him. It's pretty yeah. impressive. Good job, Ghostly. Munich, represent. Yeah. If I had a nickel for every time you said that, Don. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you. There you go. <laughs> I, I I don't know what happened. It's just my, I wanted to play and I just pushed the A button. We are one win away for two of our players here at our Bomberman Live tournament. Apocalypse X just came back in. Joe wants to be sure he has a chance at the naming in the event that that turns out to be Josie. Yes. Excellent. See, the problem is if, if Apocalypse X is our winner, we can't call. No because, phone number. Because oh, yeah? Joe Jacobo is the only player that didn't provide us that information. That would be disappointing. It would be very disappointing. I would weep openly. Maybe we just call uh, Daniel or somebody else. Yeah. Like, hey, could, I have a second place, right? We, we could call <laughs> my mom and just see how she's doing. There you go. Yeah. I am glad that Tournament TV is back, by the way. Apocalypse goes down. Wow. Dirk. They are uh, intent on staying alive. This is the longest match ever. This is the longest match ever. But it's, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the action. Kirk gets three wins, so he's uh, trying to get up there in the four category. This reminds me of when I used to have game night in my house. We used to get a bunch of my friends together. Uh -huh. we used to play Party Edition on the PlayStation. Got the multi-tap. Oh, yeah. That was great. Had five of us every Monday night. We'd play this long or longer. Yeah, uh, for for me, I think one of the the Bob man memories I remember the most was playing it on the on the Turbo Graphics. Had the Turbo Tap. Mm -hmm. We got heck of play, friends playing, and we also busted out Motor Rotor. Did you ever play Motor Rotor? Oh yeah, that game was awesome. The only thing that bummed me out about Motor Rotor is like one of my friends was really smart and like really good at math, mm -hmm. and he just like figured it out. Like, oh wait, there's actually a very simple one way to go progression in terms of what you buy in order oh. to do better. And then as soon as he did that, he just ruined the game for everyone. Oh, Pretty man. much. Well, you know, my best Bomberman uh, memory ever was this time I watched this uh, this six-player tournament on yeah, GameSpot. Really? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hear GameSpot.com is where gamers go to know. Oh yeah, really? and watch sometimes. Oh, indeed. <laughs> One fifty-six left. We still oh. got 
streets. One competitor in there that is looking for his fifth win. Peachy back in. Oh, wow. Tags out Apocalypse Axe. Doing a little jig in the corner. These oh. are oh my two competitors. No. Oh, and Don't ghostly call pirate. It. Back. I guess you. You uh, know, Joe, we you've you've uh, managed to make me put my foot in my mouth oh, over yeah. this one. <laughs> oh, I hear you. That dude is uh, trying to do it. Maybe he's just the ringer here. Maybe he's just holding out. He's like, all right, I better win now. Yeah, end up playing around. I don't know why he gets the power down, though. He didn't pick up any other power-ups, uh, and so you can't go down past a certain point. Oh, I gotcha. Oh. There is a minimum flame length. I gotcha. So at base level, you can't go down from there. Uh, that's definitely uh, my oh. Whoa, that wow. was big. Oh, yes. That was a dangerous bomb, aptly named. That detonated a P-bomb. So we've got two people in there with four wins, just one one away from taking oh. the tournament. <laughs> Man, look how fast he's jamming. He's got all kinds of speed up. Yeah. Which only exacerbates his lag, it seems. A little bit. Yeah. Oh. We're going after Apocalypse. Oh! Happens oh. to be going too fast sometimes. Yeah, it's true. And is that ghostly pirate still in there? Yeah. It sure is. That's uh uh-oh, but yeah. now, now we've no. got uh, same issue as before. These guys aren't paying attention. If they were smart, they'd go after... Apocalypse yep. X, yeah. Yes, they would. There you go. Launch those bombs over there. Oh, they could have trapped them? Oh. Yeah, considering uh -oh. that they're playing for $250. Oh, man. Yeah, you think they, it was in trouble it's somewhere. in their best interest to get right, that guy out of there. Minute 26 seconds left, too. That's a lot of time. I'm sure the chat is just lit up with avid discussion about this right now. Who's it going to be? Oh, oh! Apocalypse I was Axe? worried about Ghostly Pirate there. Uh, D Street's 55. I know, D Street's is following him around. Yep. Uh oh. Oh, what are you uh -oh. doing? Oh, man! Oh, they wanted to get that dangerous bomb out of him. Oh, is that right? Yeah, whenever you're hit by a bomb, it stuns you and drops one of your power ups. I gotcha. Oh, I'm stressed. Oh! oh! Right on. Look at that. Ghostly pirate. Dude, is that like three in a row for him? I that think is, that is. Three in a row. That is crazy. I can't believe it. It's amazing. Uh -oh. Super crazy. Munich is moving up. Man, from zero to three. He definitely had some help from his friends there in that last round. Oh, yeah. Although, yeah, there was a couple times I think he was going to make it. Yeah, but don't want to discount his uh, his talent at the game either. Oh, no, no. no. His experience seems to be deep and yes. often pointed. <laughs> yes. Much like his hair. <laughs> it's amazing how... Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's amazing how many little things are all happening at once for each one of those characters and what they're doing. Peachy pulling off a kick to get that dangerous bomb away. Oh, Apocalypse X trapped. I gotta tell you, I'm playing Double May Cry 4 right now. Yeah. And this is, this looks a lot more challenging to me than that. <laughs> I don't know if that speaks volumes about this game or... Not much about maybe, Devil May Cry. Maybe it speaks volumes to my uh, to my worry that I would really <laughs> stink at Bomberman. Oh. Well, I'll admit, the last time I got on there with some friends, I think I got whooped. Mm. I think this is a game that definitely uh, rewards you with with mm -hmm. a lot of playtime. Oh yeah, play it a lot. I and remember just reaping the rewards. Oh yeah, I remember when we were playing this for that tournament. I mean, we, we brought our system to the hotel and everything so we could play like all night long and all that day before the tournament. Oh, Ghostly Pirate. Did you ever worry that you were showing off your talents, your special moves to your competitors early on? Um, you know, once the match started, honestly, it was like, I know everybody else was nervous, so mm -hmm. for us it was just, you know, sticking to our game plan and, and doing it. And I say us because I think the way I remember it was there was a... Uh, three people for each team, and so each person got a chance to play from their team. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And then I, yeah, I can't remember. I think we all played like twice. So you're playing with your team then? Yeah, it was like I'd play and then my buddy would play and then somebody else would play. And then I'd get back on there. I think it's best of five or something. Nice. Much like this one. Yeah. Well, actually, it's five as opposed to best of five. All right, got the blocks coming in. This is this could be it right here. We've got two people that have the big four looking for the fifth one to take it. Could be another draw, though. Another one hanging back. He's letting the two of them duke it out. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, he said, it, yeah he's he said he was. There you go. He better not get to cough. He's better not get sealed in there, though. Right. Yeah, but at this uh -oh. point, it's just oh, uh -oh. Wow. staying in safe areas. Looking for the last minute move. Last uh -oh. move. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! oh! Wow. D Streets, oh! 55. Takes it. Amazing win. That was great. Daniel Yancey Jr. He was he was held at four for okay, like we're ever. Call you here, D Street. I didn't think he was gonna get that fifth one. I was wondering. He certainly That's has awesome. a lot of points there. Yeah. I think we're looking to get Daniel on the phone and uh, we'll have him talking to us. What did you guys think? That was pretty intense, Jody. Yes, very intense. Very intense. Yes, I I I, I still I'm still a fan of Peachy Bear. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. To be able to idle on the bomb and just keep walking. I mean, just sit there for a few seconds. He's very very good. Style did not pay off for Peachy Bear, unfortunately, though. No, it didn't. Uh, what do you guys think from your one eye perspective, sir? My one eye says that that was pretty incredible to watch, yeah. and I think I need to play some Bomberman because now I feel very embarrassed and ashamed. <laughs> can we do it? Uh, I've missed out. Can we do a dual game night, maybe Bomberman and Call of Duty Four? That could work. Yeah, yeah. Could is, that, that. is that crazy talk? Or? No, it's not crazy talk. Might want to get some Atomic Bomberman in there to get some PC representation. There you go. Right. There you go. Right. We right can on. do Bomberman across many platforms. Really? Yeah. Just yeah. a whole big Bomberman night. Exactly. Good. With a little Call of Duty Four at the end. I'd do it. I think we got oh, Daniel Yancey on the line. Daniel, are you there? Oh, yeah. Hey, congratulations, man. Uh, terrific win. Uh, you were held at four for a while. How would it look from your side, yeah. sir? Oh, man. So happy. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like shaking right now. Yeah. <laughs> that was definitely some serious. Man, that was a tough match. Yes. Yeah. Oh, were, uh, were, were you surprised at all by the competition? Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be like... That's tough. Like, oh man. How how was it compared so to the how was it compared to the prelims that you were going through? Kind of all right. What did you say? I said, how was it compared to the prelim matches that you had to go through? It was way harder. So yeah. tough. All right, on you. You won yourself a two hundred fifty dollar Best Buy gift certificate. So congratulations to you, sir. Uh, all right, so, thanks. Sounds like you got some friends over. What did they think of the match? Did they enjoy it? Yes. Right on. Nice. Good deal. All right. Let me give a shout out to New Jersey, my wife's favorite state in the union. There you go. So congratulations. Thanks, Thanks. for playing, Daniel. Really appreciate it. Congratulations again. We'll see you next time on Tournament TV. Hang in there, All sir. Right. All right, man. Later. Thanks. Daniel Yancey, Jr. True. Yeah. Taking it to the taking it taking it all the way. Two hundred fifty dollars. Right. So uh, should we give the folks at home that watching with us for the whole time something as well? I think we should. All right. This is the big payoff. Excellent. I'll so the uh, the first one for the Omega-5 gift certificates. We're giving away five of them. And this will be a code that you enter in. And basically what you need to do is you need to answer this question. What is Bomberman's nickname? Ready? Oh, okay. okay yeah. All right. And so I think that goes in the, in the trivia. That's correct. On this side. There's a little tab. Yeah. yeah. This side? Yeah. This <laughs> and your four choices are A, cool white, B, Cheerful White, C, The Mad Bomber, or D, Bombo. Bombo. <laughs> that's, a, that's pretty good. You got a second question, though. That's though. true. Yeah. So, for Bomberman Live gift certificates, another quantity of five. What was the first game Hudson released after Bomberman Live? Hmm. Let me think, let me think. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Your choices are A, Fishing Master, B, Omega-5, C, Bomberman Land, or D, Dungeon Explorer. It's pretty I'm tough. Yeah, it's pretty that tough. is a tough one. You gotta know the order yeah. of release on that. That's some business. There's yeah. people doing some Googling right now. Yeah. Try we may already it. have a winner. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That could be. Excellent. So, uh, anything from your side, Jody? Uh, did you enjoy the state tournament? What do we got coming up next from Tournament TV? 
Our next tournament is Forza 2, Ooh, which should nice. be exciting. And I would like to thank Hudson Entertainment for uh, providing those games. Excellent. Right on. Awesome. Anything from you, Don? No, sir. This was a great match and want to thank the community for participating and everyone for tuning in. It was really great. That's Good to awesome. have you guys. Right on, man. Hey, thanks for joining us. It was Appreciate my pleasure. It. Thank you, Jody, as well. And uh, Kim Van Orden, anything hey. from you before Yeah, you? I can't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Right on, sir. Well, I'll let you get uh, unpirated, Absolutely. and we'll, uh, we'll we'll get back to the action. Thanks again for coming by. My pleasure. Appreciate it. And uh, thanks to all you watching and joining us. We'll see you next time on Tournament TV. Uh, join us next week for our 11th Annual Interactive Achievement Award coverage. Until then, see you guys later.